Welcome back, sir. <laughs> the meanest looking there's some bad blood i don't know about here relax my friend never mind good Let's have a look. Well, hello again. Have yourself a nice trip. Time you mosey on.
all day on that one. Huh? Hey, you deaf, mister? you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. But this cat! I said get out of here! This is an outrage. I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free! Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Hello, sir? Yeah. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorking told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that are worse! Don't hurt him, please! He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Maybe you're out of Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. This shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, I, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. Close 
the gap. What happened to him? Wait, what the?
damn heat rash is killing. Hey, what the hell? I know you, Every you piece day. of shit. <laughs> How you doing today? Every day, it's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those challenges used to... Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins? Watch it. Hello. I told Pa he's got the brains of a vegetable. <laughs> Yes? Uh, I'm, uh, uh, sorry. 
I'm looking for um, the mayor. Yes, please. Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Le Mieux? Le Mieux. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I... I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Go to the right up here. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur, there! No. Oh. What's his name again? Professor Schiftaker. your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I, I couldn't. My reputation. You gonna think of your reputation when your brain is jelly? 
I'd never be published again. Maybe I'll just kill you. Make this all go away. <laughs> I relent. I relent. <laughs> See, Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Um... Because otherwise... I'll be in New Haven. No, no, we don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Morning, mister. So, turns out, all those paintings were real after uh, all. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Schiftecker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. the scissors in your house? Grab a seat, let's get to work. So what'll it be today? Thank you. Yeah, that looks good. I guess we're all done here. Thanks, partner. Hey, now. How are you holding up? Praise God, the small person. God, help me. Out of the damn way. Your step. This land of sorry about that. I'm sorry. I'm in a disgrace. Pardon me. Here we go. Hello. Good to have you. Let me know when something catches your eye. People around here come in just for those.
That is a local favorite. Make this country a real democracy. Stop disqualifying half the population. We are women, not monsters. We deserve the right to vote as much as we There are a few colors you can go with for this one. Now that will bring your outfit together. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. So, what do you think? Wearing it out? I have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. I only sell high quality garments. A pair of trousers from me is an investment in your future. I feel almost human. You can really feel the quality of that one, right? Are you feeling good? Because you're looking great. Let me know what I can do to help you leave here feeling good and looking great. And that should be good. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Isn't it time to end this night? Yeah.
sorry, boy. Easy, easy. Arthur, come up here. So what do you think of this place? You folks sure move around a lot. Yep, that's how it goes. I tell you what, little Miss Romance. I was right about what? Abandoning. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. Human blood in town. <laughs> it's just a silly old wild <laughs> Blood drinking ain't romantic enough for you. Depends on whose blood. Very funny. <laughs> So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. It just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. 
You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well... Business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Yeah. Whoa. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in Saint Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get Everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move. And soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Ah. Whoa! Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. 
We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. He live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number, big ones. Great. Um, now, Arthur, it would take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jules so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose just can wait. Let's go. Hold up. Mm. 
My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Someone there? Jules? Hey! Someone there? Tree, what are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Mastiff, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? Back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Well, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. We've got a couple of cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. 
You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Come on, put your back into it. Jules? Shit. He won't kill. No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, quick. Quick, Arthur. <laughs> He's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. Get ahead of us. You see him? Shoot. Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. 
And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need me. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Brunty. Bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You'll be safe. We got monsters out here. Well. Okay. You're going to help me? I need a doctor. Please, do something. I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Okay. Okay. This is it. Bring him in here. Right here. And sit him down in this chair. What happened? 
Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. Ah! I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there ah! you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Sorry it's come to this. Nice of you to stay, but don't fret. He'll make it. That was good work, Doctor. Yeah, he's lucky. Wounds like that'll kill you if you aren't careful. He's lucky he just lost the arm. Come now. Let's let him rest. All we can do now is hope for the best. Kill me. I know! No, God damn it, I'm taking you in! Should have known what you was getting into. Who do you think 
Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so don't come I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Oh, I'm... That's far too modern for my taste. Mr. Chardonnay. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those hot and tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, horse. We'll leave it. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> Well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. This way, this way, come on. I think we are okay. Huh? The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring. Huh? Be careful. Uh, it was not. Arch test people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. Good morning. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs>
There, boy. Here you go, boy. All right, boy. Wait. You're all right, boy. Buenos días, señor. You ought to take care of that horse there. We'll find these. Yeehaw! You done stirred up enough of fuss already. So, Arthur, Dutch, there you are. What's Come the heady like, anyhow? I have no... <sighs> Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <sighs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought. And I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though, I do. <clears throat> well, a lot of leaving love aside, eh? <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Now you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? 
Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. Got a shot on him? <laughs> Something creepy about these statues. <laughs> you don't like naked women. You taking them or me? It's like someone's looking at you when they're. <laughs> that ain't <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. Big man, we gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth has got to be disposed of. Oh. Oh. Your friends of oh. Pinkerton's gonna come and rescue you? You oh. repulsive little maggot. Oh. 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 Call them now. You call them. Your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him.
I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time. Morning, Mr. Morgan. I don't like it. It's the right plan. Morning, I've Arthur. Work. I've been in town, looking, watching, and, and waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. It's the right plan. I know. I just... Well, between you and me, I'm nervous. I suppose, I suppose that's it. Oh, never nervous. That's been my job all these years. I know. <laughs> you sure? Certain. Well, not certain it will be done, but certain it can be done. And certain this is the only way I see we can do it. I've timed it out more than once. Well, you're the expert. Jim? Look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. Nope. Pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! This is it, gentlemen. The last one! Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? <laughs> Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Got it. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Well, one more time. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. Fellas. 
Boys, act normal. There's Bill. Let's hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. <laughs> this, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains! No more deals! Mr. Milton! This is America! You can always cut a deal! I've given you enough chances! Come on!
I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. <sighs> what you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof. If you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on.
Keep quiet and keep moving, or we're gonna be dead in the next few minutes. Follow me, one at a time. Arthur, you go next. Come on, follow me. Keep it down. There's law everywhere. Ah! We got the law below. Watch out. Find these men. All of you, find these men. You, have you seen anything? <clears throat> no, not yet. Looks like they're heavily patrolling around here. Arthur! Arthur! We can get in here! I don't believe it. They knew we were coming. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. What now? I don't know. I don't. <sighs> this whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. Okay, follow me and keep your heads down. Boats, come on. I hear voices. Tinker Tims. Everyone stay down. The rats will have to come out of their holes eventually. Should have had a black one. That won't happen again. They'll be got men on every street. We can't stay here. Let's cut through the train. Follow me. Someone's coming. Duck. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. What old Milton said? Milton said a lot. Come on, I won't be out here all night. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something.
bring it up, boys. See them? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me! Buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most Come beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold. I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I don't know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence. And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? 
I come in peace. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you?
Search. Search. Boy. You're alive. Are you? Oh, boy, that's it. You're... You're alive. <laughs> Are there... Of course, okay. it is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody Here. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. So... Where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guarma. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> Well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea in the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 Muevanse! That means move! You got a long walk ahead of you. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? Oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. How <laughs> very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to see the crowd. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, disparales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, Ben. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Vuelvanse. 
todos. Reinforcements. Mon Dieu. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, David. Everyone, follow me. Please, David. Come, come, come. Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah. oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Ah. What do you think? We gotta move, Dutch. Go. Don't lose pace, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey. Go, go. What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hercule Fontaine. Dutch Vanderland. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So. Who is this Fusor? A tyrant. 
driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. If you help us get back our friend and get out of here, we will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Futa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I... I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, do some more scouting carefully. Duty calls. That horse don't listen. Get in it! 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 Get in it!
Ah, tenemos una huevado aquí, ¿eh? Tenemos una huevado. Voy a despertar, ¿eh? ¿Ah? ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Ah? ¿Ah? Por última vez, ¿eh? ¿Quién eres? ¿Ah? Ahora sí, ¿quién eres? ¿Quién eres? ¿Ah? ¿Quién eres? ¿Ah? 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 ¿Quién es este hombre? ¿Ah? No lo había visto antes. Me estaba siguiendo en el bosque. ¡Un tipo raro! Time to get to the other workers. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. Baptiste, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Go! Go! Come. Follow me. Stay close behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Okay. Keep quiet and don't kill anyone. If they catch us, they'll murder the workers for sure. Who was that, Phil? Shh. One of her cues men. Quick. Hide. Oye, ¿qué pasa? Te voy a decir una cosa. Mi abuelo... Dijo que la Guarma era la isla de la que Dios se había olvidado. Y después de estar aquí un mes, entiendo a lo que se refería. No hay nada aquí. Hay que regresar. Tan solo tres meses más y a casa. Por favor. Ok. They moved. Come on. Keep close behind me. Watch it. Let's go. Stay close. The guard, keep out of sight. Angel. Nunca hubo alguien con un nombre menos apropiado. Que hablo que me haría mejor. Oh, pendejo. Está enfermo. Seguro está disfrutando mientras tortura a esos bastardos. Se le pone tieso el petito. Fue creado por ratas. Ratas? Take cover on the other side of the store. Por el mismo diablo. ¿Qué tal va todo para allá? Ya casi acabo. Saben. Por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando. Ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso, ¿ah? ¿eh? Toma demasiado tiempo. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. ¡Intruso! ¡Mátenlo! ¡Voy a dónde correr! 